Hey guys, Old Man G here, back again with another video for Red Devil Studios. Um, yeah, um, Romelu Lukaku. Um, Romelu Lukaku, guys. Um, basically, he's. I, I'm, this video is going to co uh, to cover Romelu Lukaku's comments um, that he made. Um, basically, to his, it was a podcast called the Lighthearted Podcast, where he talks about. You know, Manchester United, Manchester United, and essentially how they treated him during the, during the summer transfer window. Um, and I guess to give my take and to give my side, you know, um, and I think that it's actually, if you check it, like the video is actually on YouTube, I think. So I'm loading up now as we speak. Um, it's called The Lighthearted um, Podcast um, with Josh Hart, so like it's got like three point two k or something like that, so it's on. So, um, just give um, you know, just give it a watch, basically. So I'll put the link in the description as well, so you can actually have a look at it. Um, but basically, um, to summarize some of the points, the key sort of things that Lukaku basically says is that, like, so this this is a quote, for example, um. There's fighting for your position, and there's also being somewhere where people want you. Um, he told Lighthearted Podcast. Um, a lot of stuff was said. Rom is going to go here, and they're going to sell him. This went on for weeks, and I'm waiting for someone to come out and shut it down. Nobody ever shut it down. It didn't happen. I had my conversation. I told him what I said. Better to go our separate ways. I clearly never entertained rumours. I just want a little bit of protection. Something like Rom just needs to fight for his place. It never happened, not in the last four or five months. Most of the time it was, he's going to leave, he's got to go, and he doesn't deserve to be here. Well, cool, if it's like that, I want to go now. So, that's, you know, it doesn't matter if you're, and it's just going, it doesn't matter if you're on the bench or starting, he said, if they had told me I'm cool, just fight for your place. That's cool, because you're a competitor. I fought for two or three weeks, and then you sealed this shit leak to the, sorry to respond, to, to the media. Who leaks it? Not me, not my agent. We see it all we see it all the time. I told him it's better not to be at a place to, to be where I'm not wanted. Find a guy who fits your system, so I'm not the culprit all the time. If they believed they would have told me to fight for my place. Because we're not stupid. We know some people at the top will leak stuff. I told them we couldn't work like this. Um This is this this is important, I think, for key reasons, because I think a lot of United fans uh, and bring some on the podcast. Actually, um, a lot of United fans are gonna be going, "Oh, Lukaku wasn't good enough, or Lukaku wasn't this or that, etc." Whatever, you know. Um, I've always, I would never say I'm a Lukaku defender because I, I see, I see his faults. I see the fact that um, his one touch isn't good. He requires a lot of chances, etc. Um, but what I did say from the start was, um, at the end of the day. Rom Lukaku does score goals. You know, people say, oh, he doesn't score against the top six and like that. Like, guys, scoring against the top six is not necessary to get into top four if you're scoring against the remaining, what, you know, 14 teams in the Premier League on a regular basis. So, you know, scoring against the, the top six is only if you're wanting to go for, want to go for titles, which United are not in a state anyway. So I think a lot of, um, there was a lot of pressure on Lukaku to perform to a really high level that, frankly, a lot of the other team were not. For your Phil Joneses, your Ashley Youngs, your Chris Smallings, your Matiches, and so on. Even at times, David De Gea last season, frankly, you know, making some key mistakes that actually cost us cost us points at key times of the season. You know, against Barcelona, against um, uh, at Chelsea, uh, and and so on, against even City, I think. You know, so um, this isn't going to be a I defend the car cramp. But what it is, what it is saying is that I can understand from those comments. I sort of semi understand now why um, he acted the way he did close towards in the transfer window. Because if this has been going on for four something months, you know, I think it's reasonable to be like it's clear that probably Oli didn't want low car as part of his plans. What I don't accept is. By, by the by the board and potentially by the coaching staff is a lack of replacement you know by all means as fans yes we want to get top quality players and we'll get replacement let's give Greenwood a chance etc 
But as I said, the reality is that Lukaku scored goals. Marcus Rashford has not been over 10 goals a season since he started playing for Manchester United. Now, hopefully that will change. But at the end of the day, not bringing in a replacement for Lukaku and saying we can do our Lukaku, for me, I just, I just don't think it's right. I don't think it's good enough. And you can see, based on our game on Wolves, who was on the bench to come on to, to score goals. You know, Greenwood is still a kid. I, you know, it's, it's unreasonable to expect him to take the burden of scoring 25 goals, which is what Lukaku having scored last season, as a place on his shoulders. That's not right. Martial's still do, doing good, and, I, and I, I appreciate that. But the point is, you just look at that bench and go, who can we bring on? Who can we bring on to score goals? Who can we bring on to be, to be an impact? You know, nobody, you know, and I think that's that's important, you know, um, it's important to mention um, that the grass isn't always green on the other side. And, was, and we, yes, we might be happy with our play, but like looking at Chelsea, frankly, it's no good playing nice football. Chelsea, I'm, I'm looking at Chelsea, Chelsea are playing great football, they're playing nice football, but ultimately they've only got a point. They played great football against us, we smashed them 4-0. They played great football against Leicester, they took a point. So playing great football is fine, but at the end of the day, football is a game about goals, it's a game about points. You know, like, we want to be entertainers fans, we do, we want to give people time, but ultimately points are important. And I don't want this season to be end up being catastrophic, not because we haven't played good football, but because we didn't bring in the necessary replacements, or we didn't keep certain players. You know, Solskjaer even mentioned himself saying that, like, you know, with the whole Alexis Sanchez, like, Alexis Sanchez going... Out on loan. Again, fine, potentially. We might have another video about that. But where's the replacements? You know, we 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 didn't buy a right winger, you know. So so this is the thing. It's like it's we are really our squad is really, really, really short, and we really need to get replacements and, and we need to be looking at January window to get reinforcements because I just don't think we're gonna we're gonna struggle for the rest of the season. If Martial Rashford gets injured, what then? You know? Um so yeah, the other thing I wanted just to touch on is the idea of leaking rumors from the top. So you know we've there've been there's been an unnecessary amount of rumors, and I think they really need to nip this in the bud. To be honest, of leaks coming from Manchester United, and it's clear that there is someone in United, Lukaku is maybe alluding to, at the top who's leaking um, to the press, leaking to us, and this is an appeal to the, to those people. Stop it. Stop bringing this this big, great club into disrepute. This does not happen with... I don't see this happening with Liverpool. I don't see this happening with City. Maybe a little bit at Chelsea, you know. And Arsenal, well, Arsenal's banter anyway. But certainly with Liverpool and City, you know, and, and obviously other things, you just don't see this. Manchester United are one of the biggest clubs in the world. You know, this sort... this If United have any sense, they will find this leak merchant discipline them and get them out of the club because it's really bringing the club into disrepute you know of just having this ultimately gossip and rumors i just think even though we cover a lot of the the, the the media news on this channel and we're doing it now ultimately a lot of gossip and rumors ultimately inevitably just cause more derision and harm in the team they do you know this person said this this person said that oh we sort of you know it it all it does all it does, the speculation, is just compromise the club and compromise team morale as well, which we don't need. We need to start building a positivity around Manchester United. And to be honest, as much as I love Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and want him to succeed, you know we've got a bit of it back because under Mourinho it was cat, it was it was catastrophic. But now I just think that we're, it looks like we're still going back to this negativity, and we need to change that. Thanks for listening, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter, We United X, and join our Fantasy Premier League. Uh, we will be having Red Devil Studio live tomorrow, our weekly podcast, um, and uh, we'll be touching on some of these issues. Have a nice day, guys, and cheers.